we're trying with Amarillo's Mix 94.1. I want you to get to know our community and our folks in the community. And uh, one of one of my favorite people here in Amarillo is, of course, Hi. Betty Bentley. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> and of course, Betty, you know, you've been with the Amarillo Chamber of Commerce for so many years. That, that is time. so great. I started at the Chamber at the ripe old age of 22. And when I had my birthday the other day, I realized I've worked there for half my life. <laughs> So yeah, do the math, I'm 44. Um, yeah, I started in actually in January of 95. I, I used to work on the convention and visitor council side, so I was a convention assistant. Then I was a convention sales manager, so I helped go out on, I got to travel a lot, bring some conventions to town. That's one of the things the convention and visitor council does, is goes out and tells people why Emerald is a great place to hold a convention. Um, so I got to see a lot of places and do a lot of things, and then children obviously slowed yeah. me down, so I ran the visitor center that's in the civic center for three years, and then 2006 they moved me back over to the chamber and, and I've been there ever since doing communication so lots of talking. So in all those years you've seen so much change seen, yeah. in, in the Amarillo I world. Yeah. I mean, so what are some of the greatest changes you've seen in our great city? Oh gosh I didn't know you were going to ask me hard questions. <laughs> um, you know I mean Driving downtown the other day, um, going to uh, Center City's new Create event downtown that was on the, you know, the parking lot there by the Globe News Center, and I remember being in the Civic Center, and that was 2003 to 2006, um, watching as they, you know, built that facility. And not to mention the whole reason the Visitor Center went in was because they expanded the Civic Center. So that whole north end of the Civic Center, I saw that grow and you know allow us to bring bigger conventions and different events to town and then I remember watching them build that Globe News Center across yeah. the street and then just even working a few blocks away now at 10th and Polk um, when I don't drive down Buchanan Street that often you know I'm amazed to see how fast that new hotel the Embassy Suites is going up how fast XL's building and the parking garage and all that I mean so just seeing that growth and stuff in downtown that's just really it's really cool it's really cool to to see. So I always joked a long time ago when booking conventions that I wanted to, you know, it was a drawback to have people say, you know, well, we don't want to bring our convention to town because you don't have a hotel mm -hmm. within walking distance of the Civic Center. Because even Lubbock had hotels in walking distance and Waco and some of those cities that are our size that we competed against um, that really wanted that. And I was like, if I win the lottery, I'm going to build a hotel downtown just so I don't have to hear people say that anymore. And so the fact that the embassy is putting in such an amazing facility yeah. down there is, is going to be a really great selling point. So since you kind of have an in and whatnot, what is your favorite thing to do in Amarillo just for fun? Oh. <laughs> wow, um, I you you know it's kind of one of those things that you know as your kids get you know when you have kids then they get older and then you yeah. realize everything is is focused on them and driving them to and from. I have cheerleaders, so I have one off in college now, but one in high school, and yeah, just juggling that gets to be gets to be. <laughs> gets to be hectic but you know I mean we have so many neat things that are unique um, when my oldest came home from college this summer and brought her boyfriend who's from Picayune Mississippi wherever that is it's down by Louisiana <laughs> not many it's, it's down by New Orleans yeah so I mean he was kind of like eh, what's there to do anymore and they had the best time because they kind of got to go out and play tourist and go to Paladura Canyon yeah. and went and spray painted the Cadillacs and um, took them to the drive-in movie you know which is something that so many people take for granted right? that we have here in Amarillo just just things that make it unique. So I love Amarillo. So one more question, because you I know you have the insight on this. You know, <laughs> the Chamber nothing. Barbecue, you know, yes, it's coming up. Barbecue. Yeah. Where's the best ribs oh, at the Chamber Barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, see, that's one of those things is uh, because the event is, uh, I, I, communications means I get to take a lot of pictures and video and things like that at our event too. So I'm constantly running like nonstop um, through that event. And if I stopped and ate every time somebody offered me food, I would get nothing done and would it would be not pretty. Um, but there, there are so many, it is so hard to pick just one because I can't go through and eat. 100 right. ribs and 100 <laughs> cooking teams. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't know that I've ever had bad food at the barbecue. Okay. Let's just me. call the corn the best thing out there. The corn, <laughs> the corn is, you know, the corn is, I hate to, it is one of my favorites. I mean, so, yeah, we like, to, we like to say that even if you're a vegetarian, there's options for you at the Chamber Barbecue because there's lots of corn, there's cobbler, there's beans, there's other side dishes that aren't all involved in meat, but... I mean, let's face it, the meat's the best part, so. <laughs> well, if there's anybody out there that wants to get to know you better, they can always just go to the Chamber Facebook yep. because you're always on that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am usually the voice behind the Amarillo, Facebook.com slash Amarillo Chamber or on Instagram or on Twitter, um, uh, Facebook, 
we have a YouTube channel, um, and uh, all of our photos from any of our events from 2009 and on are on our Flickr page. So if you've been at a barbecue and I snapped a picture of you, chances are in the last six or seven years it's out there. Well, hey, Pat, <laughs> thanks for taking the time today. It's great getting to know you and knowing Thank some you. of the stuff you've seen over the years. Thank you. Changing the cities. Yeah, we appreciate it. The Chamber's a great place to, to work, and Emerald is a great place to live, learn, work, and play. Well, there you go. Well, there's our first one. We got to meet Penny. So uh, if you got anybody you'd like us to talk to or want to know more about or if you've got questions for somebody, feel free to let us know. I'll give you more information coming up.